What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to Football Manager episode number one. That is right, we are here with the Football Manager save guys. Um, I would have had this video up a, a day or so earlier, um, however, I, I want to like... I, I want to listen to that train back in now because uh, I've been having problems with the audio settings. I did actually play the first few weeks with Southampton, which is a team we're going to manage because uh, you guys on Twitter recommended that I take over Southampton. Um, and uh, when I was playing the video back to myself and editing it, the game sounds were so high, you literally couldn't hear me speak over the top of them. So it was um, it was something I just I had to restart the game, basically. So we're going to suggest the badges based on Southampton. Obviously, we want to be a uh, decent premiership experience. And what's going to happen is we're going to manage Southampton now until um, I want to do... I want to be good with uh, the... Uh, the tactical manager that's me that's that's not me that that's not me um and we'll, i'll just keep everything at a base that's right now so yeah um <clears throat> after a few weeks when the full game comes out um i will be starting a new career with a southampton with a created team in like the conference south or the conference north um, with my own creative team, but right now the editor isn't available on the game, so I have to make do with the teams that are in the game. And um, I just I, I love personability and, and customization in games, so the fact that I can add my own team into the game, um, of course I'm going to make it completely uh, a replica of one of the teams that I take out, so I'm not going to be giving myself an unfair advantage or anything like that. Um, so here we go, guys. This is it. Southampton, the start football manager. Now I was saying in the other videos, let's get through this. Um, let's get through this meeting first. It says, "Hi, Nepo. Welcome to the Saints. I'd like a few minutes of your time to welcome you to the club before handing you over to the assistant manager, who is going to discuss staff responsibilities with you. I also want to ensure that you have the full backing of the board, and we wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel the right person to bring the club forward. Southampton, are obviously a club with a lot of history. The fans really appreciate it when a newly appointed manager has taken the time to increase their knowledge of the club." I appreciate you might already know a fair amount about Southampton's background, but can I send you? Yes, you can. You can send me anything you want. Um, okay, that's good. I'm, I'm happy with anything that we get there. As we mentioned, your welcome message, some specific philosophies. I'm just going to... Uh I'm just going to like agree with everything they say at this stage. It's traditional to hold a press conference. Uh, yeah, I'll happily, um, I'll happily take, uh, I'll happily take my my seat in the press conference. No problem. Um, Thanks for answering my questions. I'm now going to hand the meeting over to your assistant manager who's got a few things to talk about. Um, okay, let's go straight into that. Hi, Nepo. I'm Erwin Komen, your assistant manager. I've got some questions. Um, firstly, before we talk about team policies, do you want to arrange an inter-squad friendly? Uh, no, thank you. Um, okay, I won't schedule the inter-squad friendly. I've also written a report regarding the team. Would you like it to send it to me? Um, no, I don't really need. I don't really need that. But uh, but thanks. Would you like me to attend a meeting with the rest of your staff? Um, again, no, I'm I'm okay with that right now. I can provide you with regular reports. Um, yeah, one. Where's the the monthly one? A monthly basis is what I'll take. Would you like to help me with any tasks at the club? So um, only show. Wait, please don't filter the agent offers. Um, assist with friendlies. Uh, if you could arrange the friendlies, I'll take control of them. Um, Opposition instructions. I'd prefer to keep that to myself and press conferences um, I think I'm gonna get him to do press conferences eventually, but I will do them at the start just because it's uh, it's um It's an integral part of thief uh, football manager, isn't it like dealing with the press and so on and so forth uh, Can you tell me how you can assist with the reserve and youth teams um, go for it? I have too much to manage. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're happy with that um, would you like me to use a first team tactics? No, he can use whatever he wants. Would you like me to help you with any tasks at the club? Um, team talks, I will deal with the team talks. Um, can you tell me about how to assist with training? See, I'm going to make him uh, take care of all training and match preparation because this is this is the part of um, all of the squads. Um, this is the part of Football Manager which I'm lacking on uh, because since I've been playing Football Manager back in 2008, back you know a long time ago, like man managing the training wasn't really a thing in Football Manager back then. You didn't really do it. It kind of all, all was always automated. Um, so now the fact that you can micromanage that is big, and it's something I need to get uh, get to grips of basically. Um, so here we go. Right, I wanted to take opportunity to introduce myself. Um, let's see if we can qualify for the Europa Cup. Oh damn, we've got five people thinking it's unrealistic. Um, I don't want to... I think we can achieve what was said if everyone performs at their best. 
Um, that's exactly the reaction I was after for. So there we go. The the happy people got really happy, and the sad people didn't even get any sadder. So. Uh, they're uh, obviously not the sort of bunch that I'm looking for. So going forwards, guys, like I said, uh, we're going to be taking control of Southampton. How how this is going to work is I'm probably going to play one or two live games per episode. Any big games I'm going to play per episode. And depending on how quickly I can get through uh, each kind of month, I might play three or four games per episode. But I don't want it to be a long video, you know, like 15, 20 minutes is going to be more than long enough for a Football Manager video. So um, there might be occasions where I, I play a month, like, off camera. And... Uh, who is that? Paul, uh, Lafita. Yeah, if, if I play a... Um, let's just auto-select those for the training camp. Um, play a month off camera and then just show you guys the highlights, basically. So, uh, do you feel your ambitions matched by, by the chairman? Yes, I do. Do you feel the expectations asked of you this season have been fair? Uh, yes, I do. What is about the job in particular that appeals to you? Uh, Twitter? Um, how, do I, how do I say Twitter? Uh... I would prefer my reasons to remain private. There we go. While some managers are famous for their hands-on approach, other maintain a more reserved manner with their players. How do you see your management style? Um, I think clubs work best when players feel valued as a people as well as as footballers. The last couple of seasons have been fairly forgettable ones for Southampton. Are you able to inject the spark required to lift Southampton out of mid-table mediocrity? Um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning to do, ultimately. You stand here today unveiled as a new Southampton manager. Well, no shit. That's why we've got this meeting here. As a big fan of the club, surely this must be a dream come true. I, I, put my, I set myself as like my, favorite, my second favorite club is Southampton. Um, so, yeah, my main club, obviously, is Arsenal, which I've got there. It is often said that different managers favor different competitions. We'll be concentrating primarily on getting good results in the Premier Division. Absolutely. And on the off chance, any agents read your comments today. Is there a particular area of the squad you'll be... Uh, I'm not going to be talking about that. Jesus Christ, how many questions? Questions you get. Um, you have taken charge when it is widely expected that Nathaniel Klein will leave the club. Uh, he will not be. Um, he will not be leaving. He's one of the best players in the in the club. Recent reports have linked you with a move for striker Fabio Barini. Are you prepared to go on records with your thoughts for the story? I've literally taken over today. How the hell do they think I'm already linked with players when I've just taken over today? That's crazy. Um, no transfer stories today because that's just stupidity. Right, let's go to the um, the tactics. I've already got a tactic that um, I'm, I'm quite I'm quite happy with. Uh, it's actually this tactic that's in there right now. The four the four one two three or the four three three whatever you call whatever you know whatever you want to call it. I find like the the right mid and the left mid actually get really involved. Um, and it's just typically a really nice tactic. However, I've also been playing the 4-2-4 because I had to, I started an Arsenal save just to familiarise myself with the game a little bit. Um, and like I said, I've also been playing the 4-2-4, um, but I've been playing kind of like that as well, like a formation like the 4-2-3-1. So we're going to assess the team because I know I have got some really strong defensive midfielders. Like we've got Wanyama, um, so on and so forth. We want to always play a counter mentality. Um, and the, the flexible is fine. The team instructions, uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we have uh, by way of a team first. So here we go. Let's, um, let's, put the, uh, let's, put the, let's put the goalkeepers on there first, have a look who we've got for a goalkeeper. So Fraser Forster and Arthur Boric, both, uh, both very much the same. We'll put, put Boric in, uh, in the bench, unfortunately, and Fraser Forster into the main team. Uh, as for right-backs, so we have got Nathaniel Klein is going to be our right-back. He is... Absolutely incredible. Um, Southampton, the reason why most people picked Southampton for me to manage for my first save was because supposedly they have the best um, the best youth setup in the game, which means you basically just continually get crazy good youth players every season. Uh, we have Ryan Bertrand on loan from Chelsea as well, so we'll put him in the team uh, as left back. Um, left back in the changing rooms, no to me. Uh, and then as centre back, we will have all the world. And then uh, I guess we need a new centre back because these guys just don't quite. Wait, his name's not Older World, is it? I always call him Older World. It's Older Wireld. Older Wireld. Um, Gardos there. He, what's his tackling? 14 tackling. Uh, key roll. I just want a central defender, like a stopper or a defend defender. He's actually got really good stats, really good stats for that position. Um, Yoshida, let's have a look at him in that defensive role. Uh, a defend. Again, really good. They're very, very comparable, actually. I mean, I guess that's why the stat, the uh, the stars are two and a half star, two and a half star, because they are comparable. Um, and that's exactly why they're... I actually think he's the best defender there. Um, so we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with Jose Fonte as the next centre back. So then we're going to look for a central defensive midfielder. Um, and I think I could play 
I could play Manyama, I could play Schneiderlin. Both of them are fantastic. So uh, let's have a look at that defensive uh, defensive midfielder. Yeah, see, he's got fantastic stats for there. And but Schneiderlin as well is is really good. I think he's a bit slower um, than uh, than Wanyama, and I think that's going to probably just about edge it for me. Composure not as good either. So we're going to play Wanyama. In that position, and um, then we're going to look at the centre midfielders. And again, th this guy is—he gets like a lot of praise from the manager. Like I said, I, I did—I've already played like a few weeks with Southampton. I've had to restart because the audio levels were terrible. Um, he looks really, really good. He's got good free kick taking as well. So we're going to put James Ward pros in there, and I think we're going to have to put Morgan Schneiderlin in there as well um, because the, this this team this team is really good. I'm actually really impressed. Um, so on the left-hand side, so we've got two decent players here. We've got Sa Sadio Mane or Main. Um, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. I've always read it as Mane because of the little uh, the little accent over the top of the E. And then we've got Tadic as well. Um, Tadic looks really tidy. His technical abilities are fantastic. And physically, he's pretty decent as well. Not very strong. Um, but he's definitely better technically than... Uh, than main Mane. So we're going to put Tadic at that left mid. The the thing with Football Manager I found playing with Arsenal, because I'm about halfway through the season with Arsenal, is that you do get a lot of injuries and you do need um, you do need to rotate your squad quite a bit. Um, so oh, do we want to play him? What's his crossing? Uh, crossing 18. Yeah, actually, he's going to go. He's going to go as a right mid, and we're going to have to put somebody else in that centre mid spot. Um, maybe we'll go for Stephen Davis. Oh, he looks. Pretty damn decent. What's his passing? Passing 17, um, work rate 18, teamwork 17. He looks like the perfect guy to put into that midfield slot, actually. Jack Cork there as well. What's his passing? 14, not quite as good. Work rate and teamwork are pretty good. Ah, uh, see, he's, yeah, I think we're definitely going to put um, Stephen Davis in that central midfield slot. And then we've got the striker. Uh, we've actually got quite a few strikers. Um, Graziano Pele, Shane Long, both very good. Sam Gallagher, he's got a lot of potential. This is one thing I can't figure out. Maybe you guys can help me. So I know I know what the gold part and the dark grey part and the potential mean. That's like current ability and uh, like you know he's basically his current ability is one and a half stars out of five stars. His potential ability is four stars out of five stars. But why is this one star black? Like what does a black star represent? Because I couldn't figure it out. No matter how how much I looked, I just could not figure it out. So we have got Mayuka. Um, he was a football manager god last year. Uh, we've got Graziano Pele, who is obviously very very strong as a player in real life. He's having a great time. And uh, I think he'll be, I think he'll be good for our club. And then we've got Shane Long, the the pace guy. He's also very good. So him, like Shane Long and Pele, will get rotated. But we're going to put uh, Pele in uh, in the the team from the beginning. Um, let's go all sides here. And uh, yeah, so that that's that. So we have got a pretty decent um, a pretty decent team, a decent starting team. Let's get Shane Long. Let's go Boruch. Let's get Jack Cork and Mayuka on there. Um, wait, I didn't put my Ukraine, I put Moshida on there. Boom. Um, yeah, so in, in terms of a team where the strengths, the areas we need to strengthen, we do need uh, another centre back, um, maybe even maybe even two centre backs and potentially another centre midfielder. Um, for wingers, we're okay. We've got, you know, we've got players all over, like we've got Shane Long, we've got Mayuka, uh, we've got uh, Ma Mane, Main, we've got Tadic can play both sides. Um, we've got Prowse and Stephen Davis can play on the wing, and we've even got Bertrand can play on the wing. So we've got an abundance of wingers in the club. Uh, we just really need like a, a central midfielder and a cent central defender. So we're going to go to um, scouting, and I want him to find me, find a team first team player uh, for centre back, and let's just start that assignment. And uh, we'll also go for a first team player for CDM. Um, and start that assignment. So there we go. We'll uh, we'll just look for whoever we can get in these positions. And um, now we'll look at. Let's have a look at the. Uh, so the tactics again. This is uh, the tactics are okay here. Um, everyone's in okay positions. I want Pele, winger support. See, all, all this stuff here. The uh, the the position, role, and duty. If I find if I tinker with this stuff too much, it always goes against me. So I typically try not to figure like fiddle about with it until I really know that a player is being like out of position and, and not doing exactly what they should be doing for me. Um, so right now we've got a central midfielder and a central midfielder, a defender and an automatic, which is okay. We've got Wanyama who should be, he should really be defending. Um, that's what I want the CDM to drop a bit deeper. So we want um, central midfielder, deep lying playmaker. So and a, play, a playmaker is exactly what I'm looking for uh, with Davis and we'll put him to support. 
And then we have Schneiderlin, who is on defend. He could just... Okay, so he'll just I'll just put him on automatic to switch. And then we've got a winger and a winger. Why is one attacking? I, I don't mind that uh, he's attacking and he's supporting. And then we've got Graziano Pele to strike. So this is the way I play with my Arsenal team. I have uh, Sanchez at right wing and uh, Welbeck up front. And I play Welbeck just to the left-hand side. And Sanchez scores as many goals as Welbeck from it. But if I ever play Welbeck in the middle or on the right, Sanchez doesn't get involved. So I'm going to straight away use that and put Pele just on the left-hand side there just to try and um, free up a bit of space for Ward Prowse here because he uh, he could be fantastic. He could be one of the better players for us in this team. Um, in terms of instructions, again, I do want to... Uh, I don't want to retain possession because we play counter-attack. I do want more direct passing. Um... What else do we want? We want whipped crosses. Uh, we don't need low crosses because Pele's got decent heading. We don't want to hit early crosses. I do want the uh, look for overlap because uh, Klein and Bertrand, or Klin, Klein, how would you say it, guys? I say Klein. Klein and Bertrand are going to be attacking fullbacks, so they are definitely going to bomb up the field, no problem at all. Uh, we'll go for a higher tempo as well. Um, and for the rest of it, I think I'll just leave it as it is and try and like um, change it as we go. Now, as you guys do know, or may know or may not know, um, Football Manager for me is relatively new again because the game has changed so much. Um, wait, who's this guy? Where does he play? Plays at centre back. Damn, he actually looks all right. Let's um, let's get a scout. Let's scout him. Um, yeah, the 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 game has changed so much uh, that. There's just so much new stuff. So if you guys see me doing something categorically bad or terrible or really, really wrong, um, just let me know and, and tell me that, hey, you fuck it up. you got to change it. Um, so we could get Lafita, um, who's not he's not what I'm looking for. I don't need another winger. I have, I have an abundance of wingers. I definitely don't need a 29-year-old winger, that's for sure. Um, we, who's this? Uh, Lentz. I actually really like Lenz, um, but again, he's oh wow, winger slash striker. Let's get let's get some more uh, scouting on him. Um, what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna I'm gonna go to just the, this first game. We're gonna play this first game. This is nearly 20 minutes long now. Um, he has no interest in joining, but he what? He ha he put a come and get me plea, and then has no interest in joining. Um, okay, uh, transfer offer. I want to make an offer. Let's make an inquiry. Let's see how much he's going to cost us uh, to to get him because he looks he looks fantastic. Um, right, they offer a guy that I know literally nothing about, Hussein Hussein Karja as a centre midfielder. I guess we could. No, he's thirty one years old. Not interested. Absolutely not interested. Um, so yeah, we're go we're going to just play the one game. Like I say, guys. Um, he doesn't look very good. Twenty five years old. Let's let's get a scout report on him as well. Um, and uh, we'll, I'll gauge the response from how you guys post in the comment section, what you want to see going forwards, uh, yada, 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 so on and so forth. And, um, yeah, we'll take it from there pretty much. So uh, I don't want today's episode to be too long. Um, right. Grape, gape this morning. He wants to join Birmingham. Um, how old is he? 19 years old. He's not looking too fantastic. He's in the under-21s. Uh I don't really, I don't really care if I want to keep him. Um, yeah, I'll just tell him he's got his best. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let him go to Birmingham if an offer comes in. So uh, I, I, I don't give a shit about him, quite honestly. I really don't give a shit about him. But we have got our first friendly game, guys. The team is obviously not looking the best right now in terms of uh, match fitness and uh, actual fitness. But um, we're going to be looking to change that around over this uh, preseason. We're going to have the game start off straight away. I do just need to change a few uh, a few short things in a second. So um, I'm going to get you to do the uh, weaker manager, the weaker manager, yeah, the weaker manager, the assistant manager to do that. Um, and I want a uh, an assertive, come on lads, we are the favourites. Show me what you can do, and no one gives a shit. That's brilliant. I love it. Right. See the audio straight away. I can hear it in my ears. is really really loud. I just don't know how loud it's going to be for you guys. Um, all right, so match speed during highlights will slow it down a bit, and between highlights will slow it down a bit. And I can't, um, maybe I just, I'll play the sounds for the first little bit, just again, so I can gauge the, I can gauge the match. But I, I think I'm recording at a low level. I, don't, I just don't want to fuck this up again because if you can't hear me again right now, 
that would be bad. But we got, oh, Tadic almost goes through really, really close. And I, I can hear it so loud. It just depends whether or not it's loud for you. And he's surely offside, right? Okay, so Karp there crosses the ball to the far post. What a save. And he's missed an open goal. Let me... um. Let me just turn the sounds off real quick. So th this is going to be the first um, the first match to to gauge whether or not the audio was good. So grasshoppers are actually um, are actually doing all right. They're they're controlling the possession. They've had more chances. Um, wow, they've had six shots now. This is crazy. Oh yeah, I want to turn uh, I want to turn all the notifications off. Thank you very much. I don't need those. Um, what I do need is for Southampton to start picking their game at one shot in 45 minutes. Three shots is just not acceptable. Um, this has been very, very bad. And obviously, uh, my tactics so far are not working. So instead of going counter, we're going to go to, uh, let's play attacking football. Um, I want to play, play, let's play wider because we do have some crazy good wingers. And uh, I don't care about the crosses. I don't want to hit... Uh, oh, wait. Look for overlap or hit early crosses. Yeah, I don't want to hit early crosses. So we'll play wider. Look for overlap. A bit more, bit more direct passing. And we'll turn that higher tempo off because I don't want players to get too tired. So let's see how that changes uh, the shape of the game. But that one highlight was all there was in the first game, which is pretty damn bad. And the uh, grasshoppers are looking... They're looking pretty decent. Is that mud all over these guys? Or have they just got brown shorts at the back that's i guess because it's raining it must be mud but here we go so forster clears the ball upfield uh ward pro has managed to pick it up he loses out again this calf guy has been uh been all over all over us really and grasshoppers in general are actually dominating here and varga is through wow that is a terrible shot but we we just cannot deal with them right now they've had two clear-cut chances uh which you know we've only even had three three chances full stop so uh this is not good but ward prowse is through he's got a chance that's a penalty ref surely Surely, ref, how's that not a foul? Let's um, let me uh, move this over to the other side here because we don't need it that big. And um, how uh, how was that not a foul? How was that not a penalty? Like, what's going on here, game? Come on, don't 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 give me the EA cheese. This this is football manager. This has nothing to do with EA. Oh, he's through Varga again. He's already fluffed one one on one. He's not going to miss that one. And grasshoppers are absolutely dominating right now. And um, we we haven't even really had a chance, which is a bit disappointing because this team is really good. Like. It's got really good players. I'm really impressed with the the sort of players that we do have, and it's a shame that we can't uh, we can't seem to create any chances at all. Let me bring on my Yuka. Um, let me bring on Gardados. I just need to get these guys some match fitness, and and that could be like obviously a lot of the problem is the fact that we don't have much match fitness. The the team in general is uh, pretty pretty shitty. Uh, let's bring on Yoshida as well. Um, boom. And then the rest of those guys are just the youth players. They'll, they'll be fringe part players, so we don't really uh, we don't really care about those guys at all. So let's get back into this game and see uh, see if we can turn it around. We just you know one chance, one goal. That's all we need. Um, we've only created four chances so far. Four shots, none on target, two off target. That's some fantastic math for you right there. Um, so another shot off target for us. And look at look at our team. Why aren't you pressing him? Like press him. You can't just give him that much space on the end of the edge of the box. And uh, Holy crap, that terrible keeping. We're 2-0 down to the grasshoppers. And this is a little bit embarrassing. Southampton, we should be beating these guys here. This is uh, this is not okay. They've been destroying us as well. Look at that, 17 shots to 5. They've had way more possession, created way more chances. And it's just not good enough. It's not good enough for uh, for Southampton be to, to be playing like this. Stephen Davis here is tired as shit. I should take him off. Maybe I'll have to go back to a formation... Excuse me. A formation that suits um that suits Southampton because these guys obviously don't know this formation yet. Or maybe I should give it the time. Maybe I should just uh give give it the time to to let them settle into it and figure out what's going on. Um, but that was a terrible. Uh, how much do they want? Thirteen million for him. I'll actually uh, I'll I'll take thirteen million because he looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, that was a disappointing a disappointing result, and we're gonna have to rethink the tactics. Maybe not. Maybe I should just keep it here and, and see see where it goes. Because like I said, these guys they don't have much match fitness. Look at that match fitness, sixty six percent. He's just he's not on form right now, and, and it's going to take a while. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. So like I say, if there's anything I'm clearly doing wrong, just let me know. Just tell me. Just be like, yo, you're an idiot. How can you be doing this when clearly this is the thing to do? And I will take all advice on board. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this series. Hopefully, Southampton is going to be a fun club to manage, and we can uh, we can get them some silverware or at least have a have a good season with them. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.